Hey guys, today we are going to see how to install latest version of Android Studio that is Mirkit in Windows operating system and later we'll configure Android Studio with Flutter SDK to build Flutter app. So let's get started. Uh, I have already downloaded the uh, setup from developer.android.com. So then after downloading it, we have to go and click on the file and install it just like we do for other applications to install. This process will be the same. Once the installation process is completed, uh, you can see the uh, screen that is the Android Studio. So in your case, uh, the projects will not be available. It will be an empty screen. But since we have already created projects, so uh, in my case, you can see uh, the list of projects created. So after that, you have to click on the three dots and then go to SDK Manager. Uh, in SDK Platform, Take the option Android 16.0 that is the latest version of Android at API level 36. Next in SDK tools, you can tick on the option Android SDK build tool 36, Android SDK command line tools, Android emulator, Android emulator hypervisor driver and Google USB driver. Once these are ticked, you can click on apply and then click on OK. So now Android SDK will be downloaded. So now let's create our first Android project. For that, click on the option new project and you can select any template. So at the beginning level, I'm selecting the empty activity template. Click on next. Give any name for your first project. So I'm giving it as first Android project. Next, we click on finish. So your basic structure of the Android project is created. So you can see here that I've connected my mobile device using USB and the application is running over here so i'm sharing my screen so you can see my mobile screen over here so now we have successfully built our first android application so now let's configure flutter sdk to android studio id so for that we can see the android studio is open over here and now we have to select the new flutter project so for that for me it's asking the flutter sdk path so now let's configure it so firstly we need to download the sdk flutter so let's get started so here we have to go to the browser and navigate to the Flutter official website from where we can download it. So here I can see that the file which is in zip file, we have to download it, click on download. So in my case, I've already downloaded it. So you can see here, I've already downloaded the zip file over here. Next, we have to also download Git in our system. For that, you can install it from the official website. So your operating system is Windows. So click on Windows and download git in your pc so now let's set up flutter sdk so go into the downloads you can see the zip file which i have downloaded i have already extracted the files inside the download folder now go to the flutter folder and copy it inside your pc so you can copy it anywhere inside your pc but i recommend you to copy it inside the c drive Next step is to set up the environment variable for Flutter SDK. For that, go to the search bar, search ENV. So here you can see edit environment variables. So click on environment variables. So go to the path and click on edit. So you have to paste the path of the bin folder over here. So go to the Flutter folder, click on bin and this path you have to enter over there. and click on OK. So same you have to do for the system variables as well. Just go to the path, click on edit and give new and provide the path. Click on OK and that's it. So next step, now let's check if we can access Flutter from command prompt. For that, open the command prompt and enter the Flutter hyphen hyphen version to check the version of Flutter we have installed. So now for the first time you are getting it as building Flutter, running, upgrades and you can see all the dependencies have got installed correctly. So that's it. We have perfectly set up Flutter SDK in our system. And now we need to check if everything is set up correctly or not. For that there is a command Flutter Doctor. So this Flutter Doctor command is used to check your Flutter development environment setup. It verifies the installation and shows the status of essential tools and dependencies. So here you can see that the Flutter is ticked which verifies the Flutter SDK is installed and its version. So next one the Android toolchain has to be ticked which tells that platform tools and it is connected to a device that can be built for. So next the Android Studio is ticked which verifies IDE installation and Flutter plugin status. So once this is done your Flutter installation is completed successfully. Now we need to set 
द फ्लटर एस डी के पाथ इन एंड्रॉयड स्टूडियो फॉर दैट गो टू द सी ड्राइव ओपन द फ्लटर फोल्डर कॉपी द पाथ एंड पेस्ट इट ओवर योर क्लिक ऑन नेक्स्ट सो यू कैन प्रोवाइड द नेम ऑफ द प्रोजेक्ट यू वॉन्ट टू गिव सो देन क्लिक ऑन क्रिएट सो यू कैन सी दैट प्रोजेक्ट इज गेटिंग क्रिएटेड येस आर फर्स्ट प्रोजेक्ट इज सक्सेसफुली क्रिएटेड नाउ लेट्स रन अ फर्स्ट फ्लटर प्रोजेक्ट इन माई मोबाइल डिवाइस विच इज कनेक्टेड थ्रू यू एस पी सो आई एम शेयरिंग माई मोबाइल स्क्रीन यर सो वी हैव सक्सेसफुली रन अवर फर्स्ट एंड्रॉयड प्रोजेक्ट थैंक यू कीप वॉचिंग प्रोटोकोडर्स पॉइंट प्लीज लाइक शेयर एंड सब्सक्राइब